أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد وعلى آل سيدنا محمد كما صليت على سيدنا إبراهيم وعلى آل سيدنا إبراهيم وبارك على سيدنا محمد وعلى آل سيدنا محمد كما باركت على سيدنا إبراهيم وعلى آل سيدنا إبراهيم في العالمين إنك حميد مجيد بيت بارك أو سيدي الشيخ سيدي محمد فوزي الكركري قدس الله وصرى Notes from Muzakara of August 24th 2023. Before starting this video, I would like to state that this work would never rest in the light without Sidi Sheikh. If something is wrong, it would be from myself, and everything that is correct is from Sidi Sheikh. A disciple asked a question to Sidi Sheikh. He said that now that he's seen the light with different manifestations, what does this light mean to him in his life? What's the next step? And how to interpret it? Sidi Sheikh said that at the beginning, the person lives in a dark forest with wild animals, which are his faculties, jawarah, such as his sight, his hearing, his hand, etc. Upon realizing this, the person experiences fear towards these wild animals and begins to implore Allah for guidance out of this dark forest. When he finds the Sheikh, he puts in him the lamp. This lamp serves as a guide to lead him out of the forest and to rescue him from the wild animals that exhaust him in various aspects of his life, be it worship, social interactions, financial situation, and other aspects. The shaykh not only gives the light to the disciple, but he also provides both the light itself and the methodology to deal with it. This includes the lectures of the light, its significance during the disciple's journey, and even instructions on how to perform dhikr and dua. For example, he gives him a word to practice in a particular time, etc. The disciple who asked this question is from the United States, so Sidi Sheikh referred to the fact that there are a lot of materials in English that can help English speakers in their journey, such as translated mudakaras and books. Sidi Sheikh returned to the example of the dark forest. He said that when one is in the forest and sees a light in the distance, it's logical for him to run towards the light and not to turn his attention away from it. If he diverts his focus from the light, he risks losing the path. The light sends him radiance, urging him to approach. Just as if the light is telling him, here you will find peace, security, sustenance and more. The more the disciple gets closer to the light of the Prophet وسلم, the more it gets bigger for him. The path to the light is not as flat as one might think. Rather, it involves ascents and descents. That's why the Prophet وسلم, said, Faith is light in the heart of the servant. It increases and decreases with the righteous deeds. Sidi Shaykh added that if one is in a forest and sees a light far away, logically there will be a tent a village or a city there. This city represents security and peace for him, shielding him from the monsters and wild animals that he fled from. This city is the city of knowledge of the Prophet ﷺ, in which he stated, I'm the city of knowledge and Ali is its gate. Sidi Shaykh said that every city has streets, shops, houses, etc and is the same in the city of knowledge of the Prophet ﷺ. Every street, every shop has a different size and has a fruit, a fruit from the blessed tree. When the disciple attains this station, everything he has gone through in his life becomes insignificant compared to what he has achieved. The disciple cannot enter this city unless all of his faculties jawara, have changed. It's as if he has eliminated those wild animals and frightening huge trees, and everything has transformed into light. Only then can he be in the presence of the Prophet ﷺ. Then, if he is deemed eligible for this city, he will reach it, and get from it what benefits him. He might even have a home there. But if he is just a passerby, and there are many of them, he will merely observe what is there and return to his past whims reverting to be an animal in the forest. If the disciple realizes that he is in a scary place, his only hope in life would be to escape from this situation. This means that his only hope 
would be to reach the light of the Prophet If he truly seeks charge and isn't content with his situation, he must take action to escape it. In contrast, if he does not realize that he is in a scary and dark place, he considers darkness as light, heedlessness as presence, and ignorance as knowledge. If he is content with eating, drinking, and sleeping, he is accepting the dark forest he resides in. So that was all for this video. Alhamdulillah, الذي هدانا لهذا وما كنا لنهتدي لولا أن هدانا الله. لقد جاءت رسول ربنا بالحق. اللهم لك الحمد. اللهم لك الحمد. اللهم لك الحمد. اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد وعلى سيدنا محمد كما صليت على سيدنا إبراهيم وعلى سيدنا إبراهيم. وبارك على سيدنا محمد وعلى آل سيدنا محمد. كما باركت على سيدنا إبراهيم وعلى آل سيدنا إبراهيم. في العالمين إنك حميد مجيد. سبحان ربك رب العزة عما يصفون. وسلام على المرسلين والحمد لله رب العالمين.